Post hoc, ergo propter hoc. Don't fall for it. Hello, English learners. In this video, we'll be diving into an important aspect of critical thinking, specifically under the category of logical fallacies. Today, our main focus will be on the post hoc fallacy. Knowing about this fallacy will not only enhance your debate and discussion skills but also empower you to critically analyze the arguments you come across every day. Before we dive into our main topic, let's quickly go over what a logical fallacy is. A logical fallacy is a flaw in reasoning that can make an argument or statement seem convincing even when it's not. These fallacies can be quite deceptive, so understanding them is key to avoiding misleading or faulty logic. Now, let's get to the meat of this video, the post hoc fallacy. The term post hoc is short for post hoc ergo propter hoc, which is Latin for after this, therefore because of this. This fallacy happens when someone assumes that because one event happened after another, the first event must have caused the second. It's a common mistake in reasoning, but it's one you can avoid once you know how to spot it. Let's look at some examples to make it clearer. Example 1. I wore my lucky socks during the exam, and I got an A therefore, my lucky socks made me get a good grade. Here, the speaker is attributing the cause of their success, getting an A, to an unrelated event, wearing lucky socks. Example 2. Every time I forget to water my plants, it rains. So my forgetting to water the plants causes it to rain. In this example, the speaker is connecting two unrelated events, forgetting to water the plants and it raining. Remember, just because one thing follows another, it doesn't necessarily mean the first thing caused the second. Correlation does not imply causation. Recognizing the post hoc fallacy is important because it helps us avoid accepting false cause and effect relationships. Understanding this fallacy will aid us in constructing and evaluating arguments more effectively, avoiding misunderstandings, and making better, more informed decisions. There you have it. We've learned about the post hoc fallacy, seen some examples, and talked about why it's essential to recognize it. We hope you found this video helpful in your journey of English learning and critical thinking. Remember, logical fallacies can be tricky, but with knowledge and practice, you can become a master at spotting them. Keep practicing, and we'll see you in the next video.